I hope you can hear me. Uh, this is uh, one more uh, in series of webinars which DB Power organized uh, in order to expand our uh, promotion and to share our knowledge and to advertise some of DB Power products. Uh, today webinar is uh, related to the first trip testing and capturing the vital first trip operation with the uh, new developed CAT-P instrument. My name is Budo Milovic and it will be my pleasure to introduce you some new insights into the <clears throat> first chip testing, some of it, which is a completely new approach to the circuit breaker testing and uh, condition assessment of circuit breakers. Uh, I hope that in the next maybe 15-20 minutes I will go through to the main uh, <clears throat> and most interesting parts of this new uh, approach. So as most of you know, uh, circuit breakers are the, uh, one of the most important uh, parts in the substations and their uh, main function is to interrupt full currents and protect uh, very expensive uh, not just uh, electric power electric equipment, but also electronic equipment. For that reason, uh, most of the utilities all around the world has introduced uh, condition assessment testing, which is a new approach to, which means that in periodic uh, time or uh, continuous time, depending if we are doing uh, the periodic uh, testing or uh, monitoring, we are performing acquisition and measurement of data. Also, uh, we want to capture the key parameters during these tests and measurements. Uh, of, of course, as an additional step would be to uh, identify what needs to be done without some invasive action, which we want to avoid because of the cost effectiveness of the whole process and of course later on we have uh, sufficient information to build up breaker family history uh, which would later on help us to see the what was the behavior and uh, what are the possibilities uh, of the failures in, in the, in the uh, future analysis. So during the circuit breaker testing, uh, we would like to have to identify units which are most likely to fail. Of course, in order to do so, uh, we need to do inspection. It could be a visual inspection, of course, to check previous history of the and behavior of the breaker in the substation, and of course. We can do uh, disassembling of the breaker, which is uh, not most uh, wanted uh, solution because in that case uh, we we introduce uh, additional costs into already cost uh, very expensive procedure of circuit breaker uh, uh, condition assessment, which need, which includes to disassemble the breaker uh, later on we need to of course check whether depending on the breaking medium to check what is the uh, how the, the condition of the medium to condition of the isolation and of course uh, some other parameters so we need to search for uh, another solution uh, which is also so-called offline testing or we, it is also known uh, as a traditional uh, timing. Uh, of course, that means that when we think of timing, most of us tend to think in terms of uh, uh, like a circuit breaker includes measurement, contact uh, or resistance, time of the uh, timing measurement of the main contact, velocity, bounce, etc. These measurements are critical to the circuit breaker operation integrity, so there can be uh, uh, little dispute of this fact. Uh, 
Circuit breaker manufacturers provide these operational parameters as they are related to these measurements. So in order to perform these tests, circuit breaker must be removed from service and grounded for safety reasons. Uh, of course, we need these parameters to compare